Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today we're going to do something terrible. Well, not terrible, really. Um, um, toxic? Definitely. So, it, it's time to do another TBR, um, thing, basically. So, I thought, let's just bring back the Wheel of Doom and, uh, see what it thinks I should read. Mm. Um, before we go, though, I'm gonna attempt to shuffle these around a bit okay so i'm pretty sure i have like everything added on this time um i've included classics i have um the only thing i don't have is um the full series i only have the first book because it would be too many books to add otherwise and I haven't added any Christmas books because um, I'm sort of thinking about doing a Christmas vlog thing reading um, so I'm kind of saving Christmas books I mean there might be Christmas books around around among these um, but they're not like this is Christmas! <laughs> um, they're not screaming Christmas at me so um, they've been added so, you know, I thought we'd be very, very toxic and not just go for five, we shall go for ten. <laughs> I'm definitely setting myself up to fail and I definitely, definitely don't think that I will succeed with this TBR, but who cares? This is fun. <laughs> so, let's go for the first one. The Final Empire. Ooh, yes, yes. Um, where is that book? It's somewhere. Um, I think it's in the other room, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a book I have started. Um, other things came up and I didn't continue on with it. It's not because I didn't want to. I have been enjoying the parts I've read of it and I do really, really want to um, finish it so I can continue on with the series. I only have that first book though, so finishing that one won't put me on to the next book, but there you go. This is good, this, this is a good start though, this is a good start. Okay. For pick number two. The Dark Path. Uh, yeah, okay, I do have, hang on. Two seconds. The Dark Path by Michelle Sachs. So, this is one I'm pretty sure I uh, bought like a bundle of books which all cost one pound, and this was one of them. And it's been, it's very heavy for a paperback to, let's start with that one. Um, it's, I believe it's a thriller and a debut apparently. So, Mary, Sam and Connor are perfectly happy family in the perfect place. In their idyllic house in the Swedish woods, they can hardly believe how lucky they are. What perfect new lives they built for themselves away from the events that overshadowed their happiness before. Ooh, there's more stuff but I'm not going to read everything. Um... I mean, oh okay. The text seems very easy, so let's 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 try with that one. Let's try. <laughs> Not promising anything there. Okay, let's go for pick number three. The switch. The Switch by Beth O'Leary. This is also one I have started and I've read two chapters of it. So let's see. 
Um, after blowing a big presentation at work, Lena takes a two-month sabbatical and escapes her grandmother Eileen's house for some overdue rest. Eileen is newly single and about to turn 80. Hell yeah! She'd like a second chance in love and her but her tiny Yorkshire village, village doesn't offer ma many eligible gentlemen. A life swap seems the perfect solution. So, okay, so Eileen and Lena switch places. So from London to Yorkshire. I'm guessing London. Maybe not London, it doesn't actually say. I don't remember. Okay, contemporary, sure, sure, sure. I mean, it is one I have started, so maybe I should finish it. I mean, I should finish it anyway because I own it. But blah, blah, blah. Next pick, pick number four. The Rose Petal Beach. Oh, I think it's a chunky one. Oh, yeah. It's a chunky one. It is by Dorothy Coombson and I do believe it's one of them because um, the first couple of books she wrote or published um, were all very contemporary, romance contemporary kind of a deal. I think these, this one um, is one of the ones that goes into more thriller-esque. Um, let's say... Well, the first little quote says I could kill them for what they've done to me so <laughs> oh my god oh okay oh it's multiple perspectives as well this is interesting okay we'll shall we shall see what we can do about this chunky chunky read okay what are we on now five let's go for it five bring me something good Well, the wheel definitely wants me to read books I've started. Let's let's say that. Let's see where is this one then. So this is a bad choices by Lucy Vine. Also one I have kind of started. Um, I only know as much as that Nat and Zoe are two very different girls who just happens to like share the same birthday and um, from what I'm getting from it because we kind of go back and forth in time so from what I've gathered so far is that um, one of them is probably not alive yet anymore um this is the vibes i'm getting like that one of the girls is at the funeral of the other one um and i don't know which one is which so i think we're going like this is like first from the page first page so i'm not actually spoiling it but this is for what i'm getting so far so um i think we're going like back and forwards in time to when the Two girls first met and then I'm guessing what's gonna happen in between then and where they are now which I'm still guessing is one of the girls funeral but which girl which girl okay okay so shall we go on yeah let's go on so pick number six should be are we gonna go with the Kinda good streak it's been going so far. A rose petal summer. Oh, it's that. Oh, what's what's her name again? What is her name again? Oh, Katie Ford. So this is uh, Rose Petal Summer by Katie Ford. I've only read one um, book, I guess more like quick reads novella type of deal by Katie Ford and that one, while the plot and premise of it was good, the writing was hella childish and um, it was very weird read, let's be honest. Um, so I'm definitely hoping that this is 
not childishly worsen and um well for one because katie ford's release i have very many books <laughs> so it would feel very weird if it was however if it was childishly written um a book that's how many pages almost 400 pages long would be very easy to read if anything so let's see um ba -ba 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 he was the one who got away, the young man with whom Caro had spent one magical evening in Greece and whom she'd never forgotten. Now years later, they met once more in a beautiful old house in Scotland. Soon Caro is falling for him all over again, but will this be the summer he falls in love with her? It sounds both cute and heartbreaking. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, number seven. What what are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? Come on, wheel. The minute I saw you. Okay, so I just read this book. Um, I did read a different cover of it. So I read the blue cover and I have a yellow color of it as well. Um, but since I just read it, even though it's um, I kind of forgot everything about it. I think I'm going to skip this one and just pretend we didn't get this one now and just do it later. What are the odds I'm getting the same book twice? Okay, third one lucky for the seventh book. I forget the minute I saw you again, I'm ending it. <laughs> the Eye of the Moon. Oh, that one has been on my shelf for a while. So this is The Eye of the Moon by Anonymous. I'm not really sure who Anonymous actually is, but um, this is book number two in uh, The Bourbon Cake, I wanna say. Um, so the first one, which is a cover I hate, by the way, um, is not the cover I ordered three times. Thank you big people um <laughs> that's not uh so this is the second part and the first book is super weird but it's also kind of interesting it's a lot of it's like the wild west but not really in present time and yeah so mm. okay so this one starts with after 18 years of slaughter and a hell of a lot of bourbon, it's time for the bourbon king to quit killing the killing. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I feel like I need to go through the first book again, I'm not gonna lie. This might be one that I won't be picking up this month, because I do think I need to read the first book again, because it's been a while. But we have it. We shall see. If I do end up picking it up, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna attempt to pick up the first book as well before just to like refresh my memory. And um, the problem with that series as well, because I have book number three, but there seems to be more books in that series. And I don't know how many or like how I'm gonna get a hold of them. It's not like it's easy. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, so. Pick number eight. Give me something I can use. All I ever wanted. I just saw that one. Oh yeah. All I ever wanted by Lucy Dillon. So I don't know what this is about, except that it's a contemporary 
Um, Caitlin's life is a mess. Her marriage to a man everyone else thinks is perfect has collapsed, along with her self-esteem and breaking free seems the only option. Yeah, you go, girl. Uh, Nancy, her four-year-old daughter, used to talk all the time in the car at nursery to her brother Joel, then her parents split up. Her daddy moves out and Nancy stops speaking. Okay. Nancy's auntie Eva recently widowed and feeling alone apart from the companionship of two bewildered pugs is facing a future without her husband or the dream she gave up for him. Oh dear, this seems sad. But when Eva agrees to host her niece and nephew, once a fortnight, Caitlin and Eva are made to face the different truths about their marriages and about what they both really want. Okay, so this sounds like it's gonna bring tears. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay. Do we continue on? Yeah, let's let's do it. It's only two more, two more books. I think. Yes. So book pick number nine. Jane Austen. Oh no. Okay, so the next Jane Austen I've like set out to read is actually um is Emma which is the chunkiest one of all um I might not read them in the backwards order I might pick up one of the smaller ones so the ones I have to read about about um by Jane Austen is um Emma Jesus uh, Northanger Abbey, which is definitely a lot smaller. Mansfield Park, also a very chunky boy. Pride and Prejudice, which I have read before. Um, it's like decently sized. Uh, I really like this one, but I'm not sure I'm in the mood to read that now or not. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and the last one I have is Sense and Sensibility. Also, um, I think it's about the same size as Pride and Prejudice. I have read like half Sense of <laughs> I have read about half of Sense and Sensibility before. Um, but then I didn't really like the edition I had, so I bought this. These editions, I hate these editions by the way, they are a pain in the ass to read to read through, but there you go. Um, I don't recommend getting those collections to read in if you just want them to look pretty, sure. Um, to read through, not the best. Okay, last pick. Give me something good for book number 10. Hope and Happiness and Bluebell Wood, yes. Where do I have that one? So, Hope and Happiness and Bluebell Wood uh, is by Ali McNamara. I do want to read the one that came out before this one. It's not technically a necessity, but um, I have started Secrets and Seashells at Rainbow Bay. It's only because I've kind of been reading them in publication order <laughs> that I want to finish this one before I pick up this one. They look so similar, it's crazy. Um, but I really do want to read this one, so maybe I can do... Maybe? We shall see. We shall see what we can do. So, um, okay, I'm, I'm only picking up eight of the books because Final Empire is in the other room and... Uh, Maybe we should do it this way instead. Okay, so I have final em the Final Empire in the other room. Um, these are everyone but the Final Empire and the Jane Austen book. Um, it's... It's a decent mix, I'm not gonna lie. We have some contemporary, some thriller, some romance, some I don't know what the hell that is, and possibly some tearjerkers. Yeah. <laughs> So that is um, interesting. We shall see how uh, the month of October goes as far as, far as reading. But um, yeah, that was a very chaotic, random wheel of TBR doom. What? Am I calling it that? No. Um, yeah. 
but you know wish me luck and thank you so much for watching i hope your october tbr is good and yeah i shall see you all next time take care bye